What's up guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the top stocks and penny stocks that we talked about in our previous video guys. We're going to be looking at exactly if these stocks have the potential to go to the upside again. I'm also going to be talking to you guys exactly how to short sell stocks. This is going to be an important concept that you guys need to learn in order to make money. Either the stock that you are trading or investing goes to the upside or goes to the downside. You need to learn this concept so you can capitalize on these price swings when these stocks go up and down guys i'm also going to be going over exactly what happened in the stock market today so make sure you stay tuned to this important video guys i'm going to walk you through in detail all this information coming up now let's get right into the video all right guys so before we get into the video make sure you like the video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have any comments or questions make sure you drop it in the comment section below guys so before we get into the, to the detailed video about the important topics that we're going to be talking about. I covered this specific stock that we talked about a few weeks ago. We're going to do a recap. So one of these stocks is going to be VBIV. This is one of the companies that we talked about that is working on actively to find solutions for the vaccine for the pandemic that we're experiencing right now over here. It actually had very fantastic data. It's up 23.50%. You can check, look, and click on the video. You can watch all these detailed analysis, how you come up with how to identify these specific stocks before they break out what price points to risk all of that information guys is it's in that video you guys can go check out that video all of these stocks that we talked about in those videos guys had really really solid days today as you can see over here vbiv is one of the stocks that we focused on we're using the four dollar area as a consolidation price point since it kind of broke out so it kind of consolidated over here and it went up again it broke out to five dollars a pullback a little bit and you can definitely use the $5 area and it went up again. So we had a two leg up to the upside. Now it's up 23.15%. We also talked about in that video, VXRT. I've been making videos about VXRT since it was a penny stock. Now it's basically approaching $20. We we're talking about it when it was around below $5. You know, broke out. We talked about it again. Looking for a good price point entry when it pulls back. Where on price point to risk at? You know, it pulled back to $6. That was a great opportunity to get involved in it. It broke out again to $12. We talked about it. We can use the $12 area as this is kind of the resistance area point that it kind of double topped over here. And it broke out again. Now it's currently trading at $15.74. We also talked about in that specific video about DVAX. We, I mean, this, I mean, I, I mentioned this stock also in the previous one. It was around, you know, four dollars. It had a very fantastic breakout to the upside. A pullback again. It had a very good opportunity for people that kind of wanted to swing trade it with anticipation of a positive news that can come out due to this company's involvement with finding solutions for the pandemic. You know, eventually broke out to eight dollars. And that gave us a really fantastic opportunity to dip over here and we can use the eight dollar price point as a risk area to get involved in it eventually consolidated for a few weeks and it basically went up another leg which is it went to eleven dollars thirty seven cents adding 19.81 percent we also talked about ogen this is also one of the stocks that we talked about that it broke out we're using this price point area as the point to get involved as the risk price point over here which is 0 0.990 cents and it broke out at that price point it went to dollar and 30 cents a pullback over here so we talked about it again we can use this price point as a risk area to get involved in it and it basically went up again to retest the high that it made so these are the important things i want to talk to you guys about to do more research and understand that these companies you know they're especially working on vaccines and they have potential news that can affect them eventually in the future when they kind of talk about what is their research you know findings and what is the results of their current research they're doing you know so keep an eye on these stocks they still have potential to move up to the upside but make sure that you watch the previous video that i made to kind of figure out exactly what price points that you can use in order to get involved in these stocks if you're interested in it also the other important stock that i want to be talking about is going to be neo guys so i also made a detailed video about what could potentially happen to neo stock as you can see over here it's currently down 14.39 mainly because of the analyst downgrade side. I made this detailed video talking about what is the risk that could potentially happen to this major EV companies that are breaking out to the upside, guys. So I, I went in detail talking about there's going to be a potential downgrade upgrade that could potentially affect the stock price drastically a few weeks ago, guys. So you guys go check out that video. But as you can see over here, eventually a Goldman Sachs analyst came out 
and he cut his ratings to sell after being at a neutral since early October. So that is one of the things you need to look for because these analysts can downgrade his stock. So that's exactly what kind of happened to Neo stock. His price target is currently is going to be $7, which is 46% a little low. Thursday's closing price of $12.94. So that is really important things to know. If you're super bullish about Neo stock, this is a great opportunity to get involved in it. If you are still have really really want to invest and hold this company for the long run guys so this is a great opportunity dip buying opportunity if you believe in this company guys now let's talk about what is an important concept that you guys need to understand in order to capitalize on these specific stocks when they eventually go down so i made that video you guys can go check out with an anticipation that there's going to be a potential pullback that's going to be coming that's going to be drastic because these stocks have been extended to the upside so what you need what, what this important concept is called short selling so as you can see in the picture what specifically short selling means is that a trader does his research leads to conclusion that the stock is overvalued so that is exactly what happened to neo stock it went to the point where it is overvalued so what you need to do is once you did your research you identify that the stock is overvalued you need to have a brokerage account that has margin so there are other brokerage accounts like e-trade td Ameritrade. trade unfortunately Robinhood does not have you know the option for you to sell these stocks short so that is one of the downsides of using Robinhood but if you use other main brokers you'll be able to do the specific thing that I'm going to explain so what you need to do is the trader borrows stock from the broker and immediately sells it on the open market. So what you need to do is you borrow your shares. There's going to be a button on your broker that says sell short. So you can borrow, you can choose a specific amount of shares that you want to sell short. Let's say I want to short 100 shares of Neo stock at around $14. So I borrow some shares from my broker and I'm going to sell these 100 shares at that price point. Let's say I tried to short them when the stock was at around $14. So I sold Neo shares at $14. So I'm going to be making money when the stock eventually goes to the downside. As you can see from the picture, the profit is from a decline in the stock price because I borrowed them, I sold them. I'm going to be making money when the stock goes down and your trader purchases the shares at a lower price to return borrowed shares to their broker so let's say I shorted it at $14 I want to cover when it actually got the downgrade today and a gap down to $12 that's gonna be the price point that I want to sell because I'm anticipating that Neo stock was overvalued so I decided to sell them so what I'm gonna do is if you bought the shares you have to sell them but for short selling you have to buy back you know so that is the important thing when you when you first open up your position you're actually selling 100 shares when you're actually closing your position you have to buy back because you borrowed the shares that you borrow from your broker, you sell them, and then at $12, I have to buy them back. So I have to purchase it. So there's gonna be a button on your broker that states that you need to buy to cover. So first, if you wanna open it, there's gonna be a button that says sell short. And then if, when you want to close it, there's gonna be a button that says buy to cover. So that is exactly what you need to do. And as you can see from the picture, there is an obligation to return the borrowed stock to the broker. That's the important thing you need to understand is these shares are borrowed and you have to return them. You know, so that is really, really important. And also what you need to understand with short selling is that there is potential risk to the upside. So if you, let's say you buy a stock, the most that you can lose if the stock goes to zero. However, when you're short selling stocks, the stock can theoretically go to the upside to infinity so that is one of the downsides that's why you need to have a specific price points that you can use as a risk area so let's say I sell short these NEO stock at $12 I mean at $14 I have to use the risk at $16 so if NEO stock goes to $16 I'm gonna be losing $2 per share so since I sold 14 at $14 100 shares of NEO stock of NEO stock goes $16 I'm gonna be losing $2 per share so my loss is going to be two hundred dollars you know so i have to cover because it's going to be the area of the risk that i'm going to be using so i have to buy back at a higher price that's going to put me in a negative position so i'm going to be losing money if this stock goes to the upside so this is an important concept that you need to understand if you want to start taking advantage of these stocks when they overextend to the upside you know so one of the key things that you need to do is if you have this information you can actually buy and get involved in this stock when it breaks out when neo broke out it's eight dollars that was a clean breakout you can buy the breakout risking out of the eight dollar area and you can just ride along 
till you see that there's there's going to be overextension to the upside you think this stock is going to be overvalued and then it's going to be your point that you can do more research about it dig some do your due diligence and then you can start selling short the stock to play the downside guys so this is a fantastic opportunity that's why it's called you can always make money if the stock market goes to the upside to the downside if you understand these concepts because the majority of the people around the world or around the US 90% of people are actually bullish so it's only a few percent of people that actually capitalize when the stocks actually go to the downside because there is a certain risk to it there's some things that you need to understand to it but once you understand the concept guys you can definitely take advantage of it and put this in your arsenal so if you want to make me to make another detailed video talking about short selling using shares you can also be using options to short stocks what you need to do basically for that is if you're using Robinhood you need to activate your options trading settings over there and you can buy put options so what put options is you buy a contract and you're eventually going to start making money when the stock price goes to the downside so that is also one of the things that you can use to start implement when the stock prices go down you can start making money but that's kind of kind of a little bit of a kind of advanced and it's kind of like more risky when it comes to trading that is something that you need to really really have more experience of with stocks first once you understand buying and short selling just with shares then you can kind of move on to options that is my recommendation guys but now let's move on to exactly what happened to the stock market today guys as you can see over here the tech is eventually just selling off the nasdaq basically amazon microsoft apple basically lagging back netflix had a pretty sell off to the downside because of their earnings they were down 6.52 percent we also got the financials which were down bank of america eventually had earnings too so that was kind of pretty bad the only few sectors that were super positive with the medical devices and the medical sector was actually relatively positive and also the real estate and the REITs are actually positive. We it got reported at 8.30 a.m. We got the housing and the building permits. So the numbers were actually relatively lower. But it was like they did not expect. They were expecting it to be super lower. And the numbers were kind of was not that bad. It was kind of relatively close to the median price forecast they anticipated. So the, the sectors actually did not actually sell off it actually had a positive day even though they missed those specific numbers guys so that is one of the important things that you need to pay attention to is these economic reports and what time they report them guys we also as you can see over here had a really really solid day with the biomedical sector you know biotechnology healthcare we got vrtx you know we got regin got alxm so these companies are doing super good we also talked about pfizer stock on that specific company that's working out with vaccine trying to produce solution for the current pandemic these stocks are hot right now because they're trying to solve a solution that the entire world is facing right now so keep an eye on all of these stocks guys it's going to be great opportunity coming soon when these stocks pull back to the downside guys so hope you enjoyed this hope you learned this something new in this video guys so if you have any questions if you have any comments or if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe make sure you smash the like button guys if you want me to make another detailed video talking about how to short options how to make money when the stocks eventually go to the downside make sure you drop it in the comment section below but i'll catch you guys on another video tomorrow have a wonderful day